Well, you may remember this scene. This was the Oxcart Ale House in downtown St. Paul. It's what it looked like after a driver of a stolen car slammed into it back in February. Now, months later, they are finally back open. Charmaine Nero spoke to the owners about what it's taken for them to rebuild. Charmaine? That's right. The bar manager at Oxcart Ale House tells me they were supposed to open on April 1st, right in time for the opening season for the St. Saint Paul Saints, but were forced to reopen on May 25th, more than a month and a half later, due to the crash. It's been more than four months since a stolen SUV crashed into Oxcart Ale House at the intersection of 6th and Wall Street in St. Paul. They drove right through here. They got um, T-boned at this intersection. Michael Lucero has worked here as a bar manager for two years. Came right through the front door, hit everything through here, the glass, this wall, went all the way down into the dartboard. He remembers the moment he first found out about the crash. Uh, well, we were all working at Eagle Street. I believe that was a wild event that day. And um, obviously the police department just reached out to us and, uh, you know, uh, said that there was somebody that drove through. According to a criminal complaint, 18-year-old Moshe Ahart was one of three people inside the stolen Jeep that led officers on a high-speed chase before crashing into the restaurant back in February. Officers found a loaded handgun with an extended magazine inside the stolen Jeep. The crash causing extensive damage to the popular restaurant, a favorite for those heading to CHS Field. I mean, luckily they missed these beams right here, but... Everything in here has all been replaced. Lucero says despite the late start, they're ready to welcome people back in. Our rooftop patio for sure. I mean, hands down, arguably the best rooftop patio, only one in St. Paul. Yeah, come see us. Come hang out. Now, Hart faces several charges, including car theft, fleeing police, aiding and abetting a drive-by shooting. According to court documents, Hart was released out of custody on a $60,000 bond, but late last month he was found by St. Paul police to be in possession of a loaded AR-15. Charges are expected, and he is due back in court in early August for the previous charges. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Charbane.